Joining me is Paul Bruns, and he is with Raven Industries. We are at a driverless technology field day. And Paul, first of all, give us a quick update. How long has Raven Industries been involved in helping farmers manage labor with driverless equipment? So Raven acquired uh, two companies back in 2019 that has really started to build that pathway to autonomy. Uh, the acquisitions of Smart Ag and DOT uh, have really started to pave the way for us to, to bridge that labor gap and, and really move faster into autonomy. For those in the ag industry, we're trying to accomplish what? Realistically, what we're, what we're doing is trying to help solve our labor constraints that we've got. It doesn't matter where I've been throughout the country and, and even out of the country, good help is getting harder and harder all the time to find at the farm. And what we're really trying to do is find the best way to reallocate the resources and the people we have to let the technology handle some of the more mundane tasks and really allow that, that individual to do a more highly valued skill that may take some customization to it. As consumers watch in on today's video, what does this mean for them? And are we sharing any technology from things they may already be familiar with? So we actually have the, have the luxury of being able to bring in a lot of the technology we're seeing coming out of the automotive industry when it comes to the driverless technology that we see there today, uh, as well as through our cellular networks and, and our high-speed internet in, uh, opportunities that are there to really get that data shared back and forth. Uh, for the general public, the thing we, we really focus on is, is safety comes first with all this. Uh, we are not we are not running autonomously on public roads with this equipment. This is confined to a producer's land within his control to make sure that it is supervised and is always safe. And before you can run any of it, there are parameters that have to be set in the system, field edges and other constraints, and, uh, and some of it is simply as mounting a picture in it so it identifies what the other vehicle it's looking for looks like so it's easier to find. Absolutely. So we, we start off, we have to have a field boundary map. So the system can't run outside of that field boundary. The next big thing that we look at is, is we have to have a coverage map to say this is an area that's already been harvested and it's safe to drive in. And the system will automatically determine its own path to match up with the combine or the harvester uh, to be able to sync and unload the, the combine on the go. And Everything that the assist vehicle, in this case the grain cart, is helping with, the tractor or the combine driver is helping to assist and telling it, here's where you go to stage, here's what I'd like for you to meet me, and from there, a lot of the, uh, the data in the system matches up the speed and time to get it there. Absolutely. The, the harvester operator is really is, has the flexibility to drop a push pin on a map to say, here's the unload point, or here's where I want that tractor to go wait for me so I can unload on the go, and he basically, it's a couple of button presses and it determines the the best path to get there. The operator still has the ability, once he sees the path, to accept it or modify it with adding a midpoint to the path. What's the next step? Where will this technology next assist producers in addition to uh, being labor for a grain cart? Where is it going next? Probably one of the biggest opportunities we see is, is uh, one of the easiest areas to move into is going to be in tillage practices. Uh, the planter and the harvester, I think, are areas that are probably going to be some of the last places. I know I struggle to, to, to get my dad to climb out of the seat of the tractor or the combine so I can run it. I know he's not going to let a, uh, an autonomous machine do it for him. That's part of the, the joy and the pride of, of being a producer is planting that crop and then being able to, to harvest it as well. Who's your precision uh, specialist here in Ohio? So right now, uh, Precision Agri-Services is one of our dealers in Ohio that's uh, had a lot of exposure to the product. Uh, great, great team of, of support staff from that standpoint. In a website, if people want more information on the concept and where it's going? Best place to go to is ravenprecision.com. Ravenprecision.com. I've been visiting with Paul Bruns as he shares this experience with us in a field just east of Minster, Ohio.